Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to check whether an alphabet is vowel or consonant using if and else condition. So first of all, you have to understand what is alphabet. So alphabet means like A, B, C till Z. Okay, this is called alphabet. Here, A, E, I, O, U is called vowels okay apart from that like b c d all are remaining alphabets is called consonants okay so we have to write a program like if any character containing either a e i o u that means we have to say okay it is a vowels otherwise we have to say it is consonant so let's start this so first of all we have to give the input so this input is currently a static. You can use a scanner also. So how we can give C H A R. Okay. Character C equals to. So for testing, I'm going to give here input value is A. Okay. So by seeing, we can say it is a vowels. But how our program will be known? So what we can do? We have to use if else condition. So what we can do? Just use if. Okay. C equals equals a okay or so first of all here we have to give our condition in if condition either our input is equal to a then we can say equals to e i o u so here you can see right i am using this line correct to like so this is called or condition in java okay and you can see double equal so it is a kind of we can say we are comparing so we have to make sure we have to add every vowels a e i o u so if any character contains vowels then we have to print like c c means whatever input is vowel okay else else means like okay if it will be not vowels then what it will be so now what we can do just use c plus is consonant okay so now if you run this program what will be happen here you can see it is showing a is vowel now if i change a with g you can see g is consonant now if you change with i it is showing i is vowel because here c is i right so it will come to this line now run this in debug mode see the value c is i now it will satisfy this condition okay you can see here c is equal to a no if c is equal to e no c is equal to i yes then it will go this line you can see right now what will be happen it will print that line correct so please understand okay here i will use plus sign so plus sign is like appending or we can say like combining it is a character and it is a string so double quotes whatever you are seeing in this double course that is called a string 